Let's take a look at similarities. In this problem, your job is going to be to take two strings and to figure out how similar those two strings are to each other. And we'll define similarity in terms of edit distance. In particular, edit distance means how many steps or operations it would take to convert one string into the other string. If you can convert one string into the other one in very few steps or operations, then the two strings are probably pretty similar. But if it takes a lot of steps or operations to convert one string into the other, then those two strings are probably pretty different. Here's what you'll have to do First, you'll implement a function called distances, which will return a 2D list or a matrix where matrix in row i and column j is going to be a tuple, just an encapsulation of multiple values, where the first value in the tuple is the edit distance between the first i characters of your first string, which we'll call a. And the first j characters of your second string, which we'll call b. And so that edit distance is just going to be a number representing the number of steps it would take to convert from the first i characters of a into the first j characters of b. Then the second element in the tuple is going to be the last operation that you had to take in the optimal sequence of operations to get from one string to the other. That operation might be an insert, or a deletion, or a substitution, but more on that in a moment. Then you'll implement in HTML a file called index.html, which will display a form where the user can input two strings in order to submit them to be compared based on the edit distance algorithm. And then finally, you'll implement a file called matrix.html, which will display an HTML table representing all of the possible costs that are returned by distances, giving you all of the different costs for converting the first i characters of string A. Into the first j characters of string B for all possible i and j values. Let's get started. 